Thank you for visiting Litson RV and for the opportunity to unveil for you the latest in styling changes with the latest in enhancements to the Winnebago Adventurer 35F now built atop the all new Ford F53 chassis with the Godzilla 7.3 liter V8. This bath and one half floor plan, which is Winnebago's class A gas flagship model featuring all of the interior upgrades in this bath and one half floor plan with an all new interior styling palette. The Winnebago Adventure 35F is available here at Litson RV. America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago factory, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, and recently named by the manufacturer Winnebago Industries as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all of the motorized coach divisions of Winnebago Industries, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award now for the past six consecutive years. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new Ford powertrain in accordance with the way Ford Motor Company outlines inside their owner's manuals in which they have a definitive break-in procedure in which they recommend breaking in the new tires for 300 miles, varying your speeds to break in and seat those cylinders in that 7.3 liter V8 for the first 1,000 miles, and not towing a personal vehicle if possible during the first 1,000 miles, as opposed to the way a delivery driver may and tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealership, be the first to break in and protect your new powertrain, sleep that first night in your walk around queen bed, and eat that first meal in your benchmark dinette, available here at Litson RV. Now equipped with the new Ford F53 chassis with the 7.3 liter V8, as well as the latest in all new interiors, America's best-selling Class A gas coach, the Winnebago Adventurer is packed with user-friendly features and more value than ever before. In a nimble length with a bath in one half, the Winnebago Adventurer 35F offers plenty of living space and ample storage whether you're planning a weekend getaway or the adventurer of a lifetime. The gas-powered adventure is loaded with features and amenities typically reserved for diesel pushers, including full-body premium automotive paint with chrome mirrors, Corian countertops, Ultra Fabrics Primera leather furnishings, a Versa swivel driver's seat and powered passenger seat with powered ottoman, MCD solar and blackout roller shades, a 16 cubic foot residential refrigerator and freezer, a standard exterior entertainment center, and much, much more. If you prefer a gas coach but want diesel level amenities at a terrific value, the new Adventurer is built for you. This Winnebago Adventurer 35F is now equipped with the new Ford F53 chassis with a nimble 50 degree wheel cut and powered by the new fuel efficient V8 and made it up with the torque shift 6 speed automatic transmission with grade braking. It includes a 7.3 liter free breathing two valve V8 engine boasting 468 pounds feet of torque or power. It does also include 350 horses, which is 10% more than previous F53 powertrains. It is made it up with the torque shift select shift six speed automatic transmission with tow haul mode and grade braking capabilities. Not only do we have Winnebago safety enhancement, but also with Ford Motor Company, we now feature electronic stability control hill start assist, and new and improved suspension packages for superior ride and handling. Automatic headlamp is included. And we'll also see some interior upgrades within the cockpit with new tilt and telescoping steering, a new instrumentation cluster, as well as several different enhancements inside, including Ford telematics being available through Ford Pass. Up front here with the largest panoramic one-piece windshield in the RV industry, up front, you'll see the machined aluminum grill that covers the Ford free breathing dual valve V8 engine. You can see the integrated fog lamps down below. This also then includes the invisible clear film over the front or a protective mask. The solid foundation with the coach includes automatic hydraulic leveling jacks as well as 22 and a half inch aluminum wheels. Of course, the coach features Winnebago's patented steel superstructure compo components in which this superstructure cab surrounds the front A and B pillar area. The seats and safety belts are bolted to steel. 
That windshield is mounted with an automotive style installation with urethane for added durability, strength, and safety. Of course, all of the appliances and cabinets are mounted to steel and a steel firewall protects the engine from passenger compartments. Interlocking joints evenly distribute the weight of that one-piece laminate block foam roof that we'll cover here in a moment as we jump up atop the roof. So sturdy that the empty shell could be built and not relying on internal floor plans for structure like competing models. You'll see we've ordered this coach in the Nightshade Premium Base Coat Clear Coat Automotive Finish, which features the lighter, easier to care for lines around the wheel wells of the coach. Inside these integrated chrome mirrored heads, we include light duty automotive conveniences such as powered mirrors with defrost, the top two thirds of which are powered and heated, the lower one third including that convex parabolic wide angle technology. Here you'll see the side video camera monitoring system upgrade which is tied into the rear view camera monitoring system and controlled automatically with the turn signal column or it can be articulated manually for a total of three different security cameras. Down below you'll see 22 and a half inch stylized aluminum wheels and just behind there the first of four different levelers for the automatic hydraulic leveling jacks. All of the sidewalls are built with Asdell composite panels which are half the weight of Luon plywood used by competing RV manufacturers. Asdell composite sidewalls will not mold or mildew, they do not rot, there's certainly no delamination when used to specifications because they're not affected by freezing and warming cycles. They provide double the insulation value and provide a better sound barrier. A green product because it includes no deforestation and during construction, no formaldehyde, toxic chemicals or materials. Here you'll also see all of the lowered basement and cargo storage. The 35F features 137 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage. You can see the pass-through storage. Forward of this compartment is where the automatic hydraulic leveling pump is located. Several different push-button solenoid breakers inside this compartment as well. As we continue on with 137 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage inside this compartment is where you'll also see the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter which allows you to power household appliances directly off of the four deep cycle group 31 RV batteries so that you do not need to run your gen set for powering certain appliances that are tied into that 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Throughout each of these compartments, you'll see the latest in e-coding process after a multi-million dollar infrastructure upgrade here at Winnebago Industries. This is a multi-stage full immersion electro-coding system used by several automotive manufacturers such as General Motors and Honda or Acura. This process involves charging each part with an electrical charge which attracts the protective coating causing it to be plated onto the part. The result is a uniform thickness of protective coating. There you saw the four RV batteries and then continuing on with additional basement storage. You can see all of the e-coating process used with all of the chassis rails and any exposed bare metal. Each of these compartments then is lined so that things aren't sliding around in transit. You can see the tighter bulb seal gaskets protecting that 137 cubic feet of basement storage. The dual rear wheels also feature the stylized aluminum wheels on the outers. Inside this compartment, all of your utilities in one easy to access location, including the 50 amp shoreline or electrical cord service. This in conjunction with the Cummins own and 5500 watt micro quiet gasoline generator with automatic generator start allows you to power all of your electrical appliances inside the 35F simultaneously without throwing a breaker. Here you'll see an innovative black waste tank flush inlet which allows you to irrigate out your black tank after draining that 62 gallon black tank. You can then complete the drainage with the balance of the 51 gallons of gray tank capacity. Here you'll see a fresh tank drain for draining the complete coach total of 84 gallons of total fresh water on board. Each of these compartments as well as the holding tanks are built in-house using vertical integration. So they're manufactured here in Forest City by Winnebago Industries so that they can be sized and shaped to fit precisely within the space allotted. It frees up surrounding space for additional storage. Here you'll see the automatic transfer switch which will automatically flip over to the gen set 
off of the 50 amp shoreline service in the event that you throw a breaker and you have your automatic generator start enabled, which we'll showcase as we get inside. There you'll see the fuel fill for the 80 gallon fuel capacity. And inside your wet compartment towards the outside, again, all of your components in one easy to access location. Again, you can see the partition there between the freshwater side and the gray and black tank side. A whole house sediment water filtration system is included. And then also as we get inside the kitchen or galley area, we'll cover the water purification system. In the upper left hand corner, you'll see coaxial inputs for resort cable or for connecting a portable satellite dish. Although as we jump up atop that one piece laminate block foam roof, we'll also showcase the coach is pre-wired for satellite connectivity. A 12 volt on-demand water pump switch so that you can use the exterior shower, which includes both hot and cold water. You can see a dedicated input for city connections. And then as you're getting ready to take off for your trip or getting ready to disembark home, you can actually just throw that valve and it'll divert the water from the city input directly into the freshwater tank, which will then complete the 84 gallon freshwater capacity input. You saw the drain for that freshwater tank in the previous forward compartment. Underneath this location, then you'll also see the winterization kit for winterizing the coach, as well as the 12 volt on-demand water pump off to the right. Again, this is a seamless one piece compartment. Up top, then you'll see LED lighting, which is used throughout the RV, which is 70% more energy efficient compared to incandescent or halogen lighting. You'll see a quick port up top here for connecting a portable solar. The primary goal of that then would be to recharge the four Deep Cycle Group 31 RV batteries. You can see the macerator drain pump and then also the second Blackwater flush inlet. This coach does actually maintain two different compartments or tanks, so to speak, because of the bath and one half floor plan, but all are actually discharged from the single location, which includes the largest three and a half inch PVC in the RV industry. To the rear here, then you'll see color coded PEX lines with the freshwater manifold system. Using a single manifold system such as this provides higher PSI or water pressure. And again, this compartment is also sloped so that any moisture, any morning humidity may drain directly out that marine porthole. Again, 84 gallons of freshwater capacity, 51 in the gray and 62 in the black. As we zoom back out here, we'll cover that nightshade premium automotive base coat clear coat finish with the lighter, easier to maintain lines around the wheel wells. You can see the deeper, darker tint in the standard dual pane thermal insulated windows. Of course, this is the latest in slide room technology. These are the Power Gear Slim Rack system. So these are not Schwintech slide outs. You can see the coving up to that one piece laminate block foam roof. Just behind that rear axle then are the rear automatic hydraulic leveling jacks. To the rear, a beautiful one piece fiberglass end cap with an exterior ladder that brings you up to that one piece fiberglass laminate block foam roof. Just above that centered high mount brake lamp is where you'll see the color rear view camera monitoring system. Again, that ties in nicely with the side video camera monitoring system upgrade for a total of three dedicated security cameras. This rear then being a colored rear view camera monitoring system that you can leave on in transit and ties into the new radio up front, which includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Working our way down, this 35F is on the upgraded 22,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating chassis. So it includes 3,500 pounds of occupant and cargo carrying capacity. This particular 35F with options provides 3,518 pounds of occupant and cargo carrying capacity from which then you would reduce for any passengers, any cargo or stuff that you may include inside the coach and any fresh water that you may travel with in transit. To the rear here, a 5,000 pound factory installed tow package also includes the seven blade bargeman wiring harness plug. Again, a 22,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating chassis with a 5,000 pound factory installed tow package and over 3,500 pounds of occupants and cargo carrying capacity. And now like any other dealership in North America, we're Elevate up to showcase all of the 
quality components atop as we zoom into certain components atop this one piece laminate block foam roof. This provides a 10 year warranty and with a fiberglass skin, it also then provides a laminate block foam roof material so that it is sturdy up top so that you can use it for attachments, but then also walk cleanly across that. Unlike other competing RV manufacturers that still use wooden trusses and bat foam stuffing insulation, to the rear here, you'll see the skylight for the oversized big shower with a 36 by 36 inch shower surround, a 12 volt powered ventilator fan to the left, and the first of dual True Air maximum comfort air conditioning units that do include AC heat kits. Then mid coach, you'll see another powered ventilator fan for the half bath. You'll see the galley vent in the mid portion there, the second of the high efficiency ducted air conditioning units with AC heat kits. You'll also see the omnidirectional local off-air high-definition antenna forward of the front air conditioning system unit. This allows you to bring in your entire free local off-air high-definition programming from inside the RV using the digital LCD strength meter, local off-air booster switch, and then programming it within each individual TV. You'll also see the connectivity port and the pre-wire for solar. The coach is pre-wired for solar with plug and play panel ports on the roof. And then you also saw the portable port on the driver side. This does also then include the solar charge controller for plug and play compatibility with the solar package. We can also install any type of connectivity enhancement you would like for cellular boosting or for Wi-Fi boosting. Be sure to check out on our parts page on Litson.com an interactive multimedia connectivity tool that allows you to bring in cellular and Wi-Fi boosting. Also be sure to check out on our parts page and in our video library on Litson.com several archive live video webcasts in which we can configure any type of satellite connectivity for you as well, whether that be in motion or high definition through direct TV or dish network. As we work towards the patio side, we'll wrap up with the balance of 137 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage. To the rear here, you'll see the Cummins Onan Micro Quiet 5500 watt gasoline generator that sips fuel off of the top three quarters of the 80 gallon fuel capacity. Here you'll see the Cummins Onan Marquee Gold 5500 watt generator. This does also include the automatic generator start system that we'll showcase as we get inside the 35F in Winnebago's patented one place panel. Again, both this Cummins Own and Gen Set as well as the 50 amp shoreline service are equipped so that you can power all of the electrical appliances simultaneously without throwing a breakers. Here inside, then you'll see the e coating process for all of this exposed bare metal and just the cavernous storage with 137 cubic feet of basement storage. Underneath here, you'll see the second automatic hydraulic leveler, the dual rear wheels. And then forward of this, you'll see additional storage as well as a sneak preview to one of the seamless one-piece rotocast tanks. Also a nice sneak preview to the true level holding tank monitoring system that we'll cover inside in which we invest in sonar sensors on the outsides of those one-piece rotocast tanks as opposed to drilling through like other RV manufacturers, which can potentially leak, corrode, or provide false reading over time. There you'll see the macerator pump for the black waste tank drain, additional patio side storage. And then also as we work our way up, standard is the exterior entertainment center. Here you can see access for the ice maker for the residential refrigerator and freezer, exhausting for the 40,000 BTU low profile ducted furnace. And then forward of that also controls for the electric and gas 10 gallon water heater. Here you'll see the LP manifold system which features an 18 gallon LP capacity. as well as an LPG gas grill quick connect for the patio side. So 
So again, 18 gallons of LP capacity for the coach. Just above here then standard is the exterior entertainment system, which features a 32 inch high definition television on an articulating mount, dual speakers, an AM FM stereo with CD and DVD player and Bluetooth connectivity to pair up to your smartphone or tablet to listen to all of your downloaded music, as well as audio apps such as Spotify, Pandora, Radio One, or even the Sirius XM satellite radio app. You can also see then a 12 volt power point for recharging your smartphone or tablet. There you can see the USB inputs for connectivity. So a total of three with one of those being on the radio itself and then down below additional pass-through storage. Again, all of which is lined so that things aren't sliding around. Also inside this compartment is additional 110 volt outlet. That additional 110 volt outlet also then allows you to plug in any household appliances and still lock up the compartment. Here you'll see an innovative Pet Pal tie-out. This allows you to secure any pets but also any high-end bicycles. If you don't want that Pet Pal installed, it simply unscrews with a simple nut pattern on the underneath area, the tri-step for the 22 and a half inch aluminum wheels, and then forward up top here is the curb view security assist window, also known as the doggy window, but really is provided to provide curb view assist in maneuvering and also seeing concrete stanchions, concrete bollards at fuel centers. As we zoom back, we'll also showcase this expansive powered patio awning. The awning in the 35F then is powered and does also include independent LED lighting. 16 feet in length and you can see all of that depth that's included for the patio area. You'll also see with the entry door as we work our way towards the inside of the coach, you'll see it's actually cut out of the same sidewall used by Winnebago Industries for a tighter fit to alleviate wind whip compared to competing manufacturers. So a nice zoomed out shot here of that 35F bath and one half floor plan. And now as we work our way inside the 35F, we'll cover one sweeping shot of this floor plan and then we'll cover things in more detail. This bath and one, one half floor plan has been ordered factory fresh in an all new interior. This is the cool contrast interior, previously known as canvas linen. It's paired up with glazed driftwood and light ultra fabrics collection. The ultra fabrics Primera leather is slightly lighter than in prior years. It also then includes the glazed driftwood cabinetry with an 80 plus sheen level. You can see an all new herringbone style wallboard and all new vinyl flooring that works front to rear. This light driftwood cabinetry then is also handcrafted here in Forest City by Winnebago Industries using computer aided design so that not only can we maximize interior storage space, we can minimize tolerances and fit and finish which long-term will minimize squeaks and rattles compared to competing models. Here you'll see the oversized residential refrigerator and freezer, the entertainment armoire, the half bath, then working our way into the master suite, which includes a 60 by 80 inch true walk around queen bed, a full bath to the rear with the oversized big shower branded by Winnebago Industries at 36 by 36 inches. Tremendous amount of wardrobe, closet storage, chests of drawers for foldable clothing, a bedroom television area, a true hardwood pocket sliding door. A large L-shaped extendable sectional sofa, Winnebago's patented benchmark dinette with high low table. And then up front is the Versa swivel seat the powered studio loft bed up top for a total sleeping capacity of eight people. And then up front, the Versa Swivel driver seat, which is powered. And then also an all new innovation on the passenger side, which features a powered passenger seat with a powered ottoman. 
High endurance vinyl flooring running front to rear. You can literally Swiffer this coach out in a matter of seconds. And now let's cover each of the main living areas in more detail. Again, this is the cool contrast interior with glazed driftwood and the light ultra fabrics collection, previously known as the canvas linen soft goods collection. It does feature a slightly lighter interior, but also an all new herringbone style wallboard and new contemporary vinyl flooring. Inside this full wall slide out towards the driver's side, this features the large L-shaped sectional sofa, but then also this benchmark dinette, a full bank of overhead glazed driftwood cabinetry, complete with the 80 plus sheen level runs throughout the entire slide out. Dual pane, deeper, darker tint, thermal insulated windows are included throughout the coach rearward of the B pillar, which is really where the passenger and drivers sit. You can see an oversized pantry here right behind the driver's side and adjacent to that benchmark dinette and kitchen area. This pantry then also includes pantry baskets and it is split to ca carry heavier items. Again, you can see that attention to detail on the tolerances and fit and finish and the tolerances between cabinets, which will maximize storage, but then it also alleviate squeaks and rattles compared to competing manufacturers that are purchasing their cabinets from individual jobbers and then jamming them into a floor plan. You can see the beautiful satin nickel wall and ceiling sconce lighting, the deeper darker tint and the dual pane thermal insulated windows. And then these are true MCD branded American duo night and solar shades that revolutionized the industry back in 2010. With a gentle tug, they very simply glide up for both the solar and the blackout shade. You can also preset a set height and adjust the speed at which they recess. A nice shot there to the attention to detail on the herringbone wallboard that's used. Inside this benchmark dinette, you'll also see a 110 volt and 12 volt power point as well as USB charge points for connecting smartphones, tablets, as well as an innovative workstation for a high low table for a standing desk for an oversized dinette or also perfect gaming area. Inside this benchmark dinette, these are mounted in the steel infrastructure to the coach and each of these cushions glide up on a piano hinge to access every square inch of storage. Three total safety belts are included, two forward facing and one rearward facing. And you can see how this table very simply glides down on a gas strut and it is legless mounted in steel to convert to the first of four dedicated sleeping surfaces at 42 by 73 inches. You can see the attention to detail in the stitching of this light ultra, ultra fabrics collection with the cool contrast interior. An innovative high low table provides for a standing desk, but also another prep surface for the kitchen or galley area, but also provides great storage inside this high low table that does come equipped with dedicated cup holders. This table then glides down to provide a flush dinette area, but then also glides down on the struts to the benchmark dinette to convert into a 42 by 73 inch sleeping surface. But great storage is included underneath this benchmark dinette, each of these cushions gliding up on a piano hinge to access every square inch of storage underneath the cushions of the benchmark dinette. Opposite this benchmark dinette then is the kitchen and galley area. Tremendous amount of cabinet storage overhead and then a full drawer stack down below with the hybrid cooktop. A full bank of overhead glazed driftwood cabinetry is included. Here you'll see the Corian countertops up top here then in the upgraded vinyl padded ceiling you'll see the first of two different air conditioning units that are equipped with chill grill technology to open those front and rear louvers to rapidly cool the coach if you were away and forgot to turn your AC on. You can see the cold air intake with removable washable filters and laser ducted throughout that one piece laminate block foam roof. You can see the LED lighting again, 70% more energy efficient compared to normal incandescent or halogen lighting. 
alleviating the draw on those four deep cycle Group 31 RV batteries. Overhead we include a microwave and convection oven that allows you to bake brown and roast just like a traditional oven, yet it frees up all of that storage underneath the hybrid cooktop. Be sure to check out our microwave convection cooking classes in our video library on Litson.com, including a pair of chefs that were taking delivery of their factory fresh coaches here at Litson RV and did a convection cooking class. All of that is available in our video library on Litson.com where you'll also learn about the rule of 25. This hybrid cooktop provides a cook stream because it includes not only LP cooking if you're RVing off the grid and don't want to consume any power, but also includes a true induction cooktop which provides a more radiant, even heat, but it is also safer because a pet can't jump up on top and turn that on. And after you remove the cookware, it very simply turns off on its own to provide a safer worktop area. It senses the magnetics in the cookware with induction cooking. But again, this allows you for electric cooking off of the induction cooktop or LP cooking off to the right. Again, that ties into the 18 gallon LP capacity. It also includes the LPG gas grill connect on the outside. Beautiful high luster corning countertops are included with a sink top cover that is made out of a bamboo material that can be doubled as a cutting board, but since it's a non-light kind surface, won't scratch because you're not putting corian on corian, for example. This also features a large dual basin stainless steel sink with a single control high rise gooseneck style faucet that does include a pull out sink sprayer for easy maintenance and easy cleaning of your dishes. Underneath the sink area then is also where the water purification system is included that includes residential style replacement cartridges available at any home improvement store. Very easy and readily accessible to find. Of course, we haven't forgotten the location for the waste paper basket underneath the sink. The 35F floor plan also includes a flip up countertop extension to maximize what is already a tremendous amount of kitchen or galley countertop space, especially in conjunction with the prep surface station with the benchmark high low table. Underneath this area then is also where you'll see several of your exterior access points, which includes the pre-wire for the ZAMP solar. Again, this is the solar charge controller, which in is included standard and then plug and play panel ports up top and a portable panel input on the patio side. You saw that in the exterior utility hookup compartment previously alongside the driver side. Down below then you'll also see controls for that powered patio awning as well as the LED lighting in that powered patio awning. You'll also see auxiliary battery disconnect switches for not only the Ford F53 chassis with the 7.3 liter V8 so that if you are somewhere for an extended amount of time you can actually just turn and cut that battery off to ensure no parasitic draw, but also the auxiliary battery disconnect switch for the coach batteries. Again, those are the four Deep Cycle Group 31 RV batteries. You'll also see a master compartment light switch so that you know you don't have a parasitic draw on your RV batteries by leaving a basement light on. And then behind this cabinetry door, you'll actually see the 12 volt push button breakers as well as the 110 volt breakers intentionally mounted right inside your step well with exterior indirect lighting in the event that you need to do any servicing. A non-skid easy to access flooring is included for the entry steps and an easy to access entry handle is included right inside your step well. Because this is on the upgraded 22,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating chassis with 22 and a half inch aluminum wheels, it is the tri entry step on the outside for the electrical entry step. You can see the exposed end tread for each of those steps is a non skid surface. Full drawer stacks are included inside the kitchen and galley area made possible because we've invested in the microwave and convection oven up top. 
All of the drawer stacks manufactured by Winnebago Industries are full length extensions and are included with metal drawer glides. Off to the right then you'll see a residential refrigerator and freezer with ice maker. This is a double door 16 cubic foot stainless steel refrigerator and freezer. Up top here you'll also see one of the powered ventilator fans which is the exhaust fan for the kitchen or galley area. This is a powered and insulated fan that provides that higher CFM or air movement. Flush mounted in the upgraded vinyl padded ceiling in the roof area. This double door 16 cubic foot residential refrigerator freezer includes the ice maker up top. And as we take a look at the adjustable bins and shelf, let's cover some specifications. A nimble length for a bath and one half coach at 35 feet, five inches. It is a wide body at eight and a half feet, 12 feet, six inches tall to the most standard feature atop the roof and six feet, eight inches of interior ceiling height. You'll also see the secure lock there off to the left for using this residential style refrigerator and freezer in transit in an RV setting. This powers off of the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter, as well as the four deep cycle group 31 RV batteries. Just a tremendous amount of storage here, 16 cubic feet in a residential refrigerator and freezer setup. You can see the flexi slide bin. This can be moved in either location depending upon what you place underneath it. The doors can also hold full gallons as well as two liters for beverages. And then off to the right, you'll see the entertainment armoire. along with the electric fireplace underneath, which really provides a tremendous amount of heat to the coach if needed. Although we do have the 40,000 BTU low profile ducted furnace. Here inside this compartment, you'll see all of your gauges in one easy to access location, including controls up top for the upgraded optional powered overhead studio loft bed. This is the second of four dedicated sleeping surfaces that we'll walk you through. It does include secure key lock access if you have less knowledgeable occupants or children inside the RV. You can use the key lock to ensure this isn't brought down. But this provides a 48 by 80 inch sleeping surface. It's very fluid in terms of how quiet and how quickly it moves up and down. You can also leave a nominal amount of bedding on the overhead powered studio loft bed. And the great thing about this is you don't have to adjust the front cockpit seats for the driver and passenger seats. Inside this area, it does include a ladder if you need it, although most will access from the front seats or the dinette area, but it does include a ladder that will showcase as we get inside the master bedroom. Great storage surrounding the coach. What's unique about Winnebago's infrastructure up top is this is mounted into the steel superstructure but it also then includes heating and ventilation up front, whereas most RV manufacturers don't have ductwork coming to this area, so it provides a stuffier sleeping area. Great storage surrounding this, along with a netted area towards the front so that things won't roll off onto your dash. Now as we zoom back, we'll wrap up in the one place panel. Off to the right of that powered studio loft bed, you'll see the electric side of the 10 gallon gas and electric water heater. See how quickly this raises back up. It's very quiet in terms of how it glides back up to the ceiling. And again, you can leave some bedding on it because there is some tolerance there with that safety belt off to the left. Again, just to the right of that powered studio loft bed, you'll see the electrical side of the 10 gallon gas and electric water heater. You'll see the selection switch for the black water tank 
for which is displayed on Winnebago's one place panel. Again, all of which using the true level holding tank monitoring systems with sonar sensors on the outsides of those one piece rotocast tanks, as opposed to drilling through using purchased rotocast tanks from other manufacturers in the RV haven of Elkhart, Indiana. These are all manufactured in-house by Winnebago Industries. You'll see the slide out control switches, controls for the LP side of the water heater, a 12 volt on-demand water pump switch, and then again, the true level holding tank monitoring system for the LPG, LP levels, the battery readouts for the coach side, and then also your fresh black and gray levels. Off to the left is the control for the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Underneath that, you'll see Winnebago's patented Powerline Energy Management System. If you do have to downshed a 30 amp service, rather than throwing a breaker at the resort or at your home, it'll automatically turn appliances off in order for you. What's unique to Winnebago's Powerline Management System is that they are all individually wired and not daisy chained together like competing RV manufacturers in which if you lose one appliance, you're gonna lose them all. These are independently and individually wired in. Off to the right is the Cummins Own and Automatic Generator Start System. This can be programmed so that in the event that you lose power at your resort or campground, it automatically fires the generator to keep pets safe, but also to keep your refrigerator freezer powered up. It can also then sense how charged your RV batteries are so that if you're RVing off grid and your RV batteries get low, it'll automatically turn the generator on, recharge those quad deep cycle Group 31 RV batteries, and then automatically turn off the generator itself. Of course, all of this can be programmed with off and off generator hours for the National Park System. You'll also see storage then off to the right. And again, this is all atop the entertainment armoire, of which underneath here is a 39 inch high definition television that ties into the local off air high definition programming and we can configure into a satellite system. We can also then equip a streaming multimedia player. So if you'd like to stream Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, or Hulu, you can certainly do that off of a streaming player. Inside this compartment, you'll see the 110 volt outlets as well as digital HDMI cabling directly into that 39 inch high definition television to preserve that high definition signal. Underneath here then is also the electric fireplace, which really provides not only great ambiance, but a tremendous amount of additional heat. This is right across from then the L-shaped extendable sectional sofa. If you'd like to maintain this as a dedicated sofa, you very simply keep the extending sectional recessed, but this does include dual safety belts. It is in the same light ultra fabrics, Primera leather upgrade. And it does convert into the third of four dedicated sleeping surfaces at 48 by 77 inches. A full bank of overhead glazed driftwood cabinetry equipped with that 80 plus sheen level. You can see the attention to detail and the coins, wraps and medallions for the slide out trim. You can see a large picture style window out towards the driver side area. Again, the deeper, darker tint with the dual pane thermal insulated windows. A wonderful relaxing extendable sectional sofa that features a pull out ottoman, dual safety belts, and again converts into the third of four dedicated sleeping surfaces at 48 by 77 inches. Providing privacy then to the master bedroom is the first of two different bathroom locations and the half bath, which is located just opposite this extendable sec sectional sofa area, just adjacent to the entertainment armoire. Here you can see a wonderful shot of that herringbone wall board, which is used throughout the RV. This is also the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning thermostat for the dual True Air Maximum Comfort AC system, as well as the 40,000 BTU low profile ducted furnace. Working our way inside the half bath, you'll see we continue with the same wallboard appearance. We don't try to save pennies and nickels like other RV manufacturers by using lesser expensive materials in hidden areas. Inside this half bath, you'll see 
a powered ventilator fan overhead with a sealed marine RV hood up top so you don't have to invest in a max air cover. Continue with the LED lighting as well as heating, ventilation, and air conditioning inside this half bath. The same herringbone wall panel, a decorative wooden driftwood valance for the half bath window, a mirrored medicine cabinet, 110 volt outlet for the half bath for lavatory appliances, a drop in easy to clean dual control faucet and sink area. This is all at residential height. And then also at residential height is the porcelain toilet, which does include a foot pedal flush and a pull-out sink sprayer for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. There also is a redundant 12-volt on-demand water pump switch so that if you do use the facilities in this half bath and forgot to turn the water pump on, you can still clean your hands. And then underneath the sink area, we have not forgotten the location for the second waste paper basket. And again, there you can see the residential height style toilet with the modified elongated porcelain bowl. It includes the foot pedal flush and a pull out sink sprayer. Closing up the hardwood door, we do also then have a hardwood pocket door to provide privacy to the master bedroom, which includes a true 60 by 80 inch walk around queen bed, the fourth of four dedicated sleeping surfaces inside the 35F bath and one half floor plan. Up top here in the upgraded vinyl padded ceiling, you'll see the second of dual True Air Maximum Comfort air conditioning units, along with that same chill grill technology, continuing on with the LED lighting. And then inside this master bedroom, you'll also see a full bank of overhead glazed driftwood cabinetry, which is just above the headboard. This queen bed includes a foam mattress along with storage underneath. You'll see nightstands on each side, which also include 110 volt outlets, as well as 12 volt power points so that you can recharge your smartphone or tablet by your nightstand. But also with the 110 volt outlets, we can equip any type of a CPAP or BPAP machine in this master suite. You can see the bound by the Winnebago Industries runner that's used for this true 80 inch depth queen bed. This is not a short queen like a lot of other RV manufacturers use. But again, you can see all of the storage underneath the queen bed, which does elevate up on a gas strut and stays in place. You can also see the current location for that ladder for the powered studio loft bed that can be moved to other locations as well. Underneath this queen bed then, storage but also ease of access for toe kick nightstands on each side along with storage areas on that piano hinged thermofoil countertop here you can see the 110 volt outlet and the 12 volt power point again these are equipped on each side of that walk around queen bed great storage here on each nightstand Depending upon the size of a CPAP or BPAP, we've also included some of those inside that compartment and then routed out the tubing. A padded headboard is equipped up top and then the same nightstand exists towards the aft or rearward side. Continuing on with the dual pane thermal insulated top hung windows. With great fresh air ventilation here inside the master bedroom. Continuing on with the MCD American Duo and Night Solar Shade System. Another true pocket hardwood door is equipped for the master bath to the rear. But again, a great way to maintain privacy for the master bedroom from guests or occupants in the front area of the coach, but then also for the master bedroom and master bath. And it is a true hardwood pocket door. It's not a vinyl bifold door like other RV manufacturers use in some of their flagship coaches. Here you'll also see just a tremendous amount of wardrobe storage here at the foot of the bed with full wardrobe closets on each side. And then the storage cabinet underneath the high definition television inside the bedroom. On each side, you'll see shirt hanging areas. Inside this compartment, you'll see many of the accessories that ship with the RV as well as the location to store the removable pedestal table, which is currently set up between the driver and passenger seat. 
Additional storage then underneath this 32 inch high definition television. The same wardrobe closet then exists towards the aft or rearward side. Just above this vanity area is where you'll see the second thermostat. This will control the rear air for the True Air Maximum Comfort air conditioning setup along with those integrated AC heat kits to each of the True Air Maximum Comfort air conditioners. You can see the concealed hinges for all of the cabinetry. Great storage underneath this location for foldable clothing. It also includes the coaxial outputs and inputs if you'd like to connect a rear satellite but also HDMI cabling for a Blu-ray or smart media streaming device. It's a great location to equip a Fire Stick or Roku Stick if you decide to stream your content which many RVers are doing now whether that be Hulu programming, Netflix or Amazon Prime Video. Underneath full drawer stacks for foldable clothing Again, all of these drawers then are full length extensions with metal drawer glides. You can see the same wardrobe closet then towards the rear area. This is actually now converted out for the factory installed upgrade of the washer and dryer. So this is the factory installed upgrade that is on the 35Fs that we stock. However, if you choose not to have this, you would receive additional storage. But this is the Splendid 2100 XC model combination washer and dryer with the stainless steel drum now working our way out of the master bedroom into the master bath again a porcelain toilet at residential height a residential height style countertop area and then inside the bath you'll see Winnebago's attention to detail and all of the trim work around the mirrors the wraps the medallions and then also another 12 volt power ventilator fan with the sealed marine rain hood up top so you can leave this open in transit but also not have to worry about any rainfall penetrating your 35F all of this is in that Upgraded vinyl padded ceiling. You can see the, see the convex pitch nature to it. Also a great shot here of the adjustable shelving in the medicine cabinet. And again, the same contemporary herringbone wallboard is used. 110 volt outlet is provided for lavatory appliances. A side hung window for fresh air ventilation. This is also the hinged emergency exit window. So you don't have to worry about breaking the seal if you open this, but you can also get some additional fresh air ventilation. It does feature the screened area as well. A residential height porcelain toilet with a foot pedal flush and a pull out sink sprayer. Of course, all of the accessories you'll need for your bath then are included, including the medicine cabinets, robe hooks, tissue holders, and towel bars. Unlike other RV manufacturers that force you to go out and purchase those accessories, another 12 volt on-demand water pump switch is included so that if you do use the facilities and forgot to turn the water pump on, you can still clean your hands. Great storage with the location for the third waste paper basket underneath the rear bath and one half master sink area. Again, a dual control lavatory faucet with a drop in easy to clean sink. So some great storage here in the full bath of the 35F. Sliding over then you'll see Winnebago's branded big shower. This is a true 36 by 36 inch shower with a one piece pan and a one piece surround for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. Up top a beautiful overhead skylight provides indirect lighting as well as additional height clearance for our taller guests. And a flexible handheld shower head allows you to start and stop the water both on the head as well as on the faucet to conserve water when RVing off grid. And again, very easy to clean with the one piece pan and the one piece surround and conserving water with the flexible handheld shower head that you can turn off at the head or on the faucet. A textured glass shower door then provides privacy and it does feature a transit lock.
All of this then is provided for privacy with that pocket door that does include a full length mirror. And then this particular door has an integrated lock into it for securing in transit. Very simply glides back and locks in place. Now as we work our way back up front, you can see again, one piece upgraded vinyl flooring run front to rear. All of the walls and cabinets are set atop this to alleviate any risk of splits in those seams like other RV manufacturers that may try to save pennies and nickels by seaming in vinyl flooring. You can see the crowned pitch nature to the roof line. That's Winnebago's patented one piece laminate block foam roof. Off to the right then above the entry door, you can also see quick grab and go key hook access as well as additional storage over the door. The screen door in the front does also have a privacy curtain, privacy shade that pulls down. You can see the 80 plus sheen level to that cabinet with all of the light contemporary driftwood sheen. Now up front, some great luxury interior aesthetic upgrades, including a power driver and passenger seat, both of which swivel to become integral lounge chairs. The passenger side of which now also includes a powered ottoman. A removable cocktail table is included up front. A nice sneak preview there to the new upgraded radio compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Up front, the Versa driver's seat swivels easily around the steering wheel. Each of the seats then feature dual position armrests, fixed lumbar support, and they multi-adjustably slide and recline. Both include three-point safety belts mounted into the steel infrastructure with the Winnebago steel superstructure surrounding that cab. We also have a steel firewall providing privacy, acoustic benefits, but then of course, most importantly, the safety aspects of a true steel firewall between the engine and the occupants. Be sure to look for black painted wood and lesser quality materials used by competing manufacturers. Up front inside the cab, an all new instrumentation cluster with steering wheel controls off to the left there. Here you'll see light duty automotive conveniences such as powered mirrors with defrost. You can also see the map lighting switch, the mirrored heat switch, but then also a powered MCD blackout roller visor and shade for the front panoramic one piece windshield. A great feature to have if you're traveling solo or if your passenger is asleep and the sun st starts to set or if you're heading out on an early morning and the, you're facing sunrise, you can use that powered MCD blackout roller visor shade in transit. Here inside the tilt and telescoping steering column, you'll see controls for the cruise control, but also the Ford instrumentation cluster with the left hand joystick style. Again, some great new enhancements with the new 7.3 liter V8, a 50 degree wheel cut in this F53 chassis and the dual valve free breathing V8 engine with 468 pounds feet of torque or power. Made it up with that six speed transmission for a quieter shift point, but also grade braking capabilities. All new and improved suspension packages for superior ride and handling, automatic headlamp activation, and then also Ford telematics through available Ford pass. Here you can see the instrumentation cluster for the new redesign in the Ford cluster up front. You can see the main menu and all of that is controlled from the steering wheel control. You can see the select shift technology with the plus and minus switch on the transmission selection yoke. So you can run this like a clutchless manual or you can actually prevent the vehicle from going into an additional shift point if you're traveling in mountains and would like to just keep it throttled down so that you're not constantly shifting in and out. A beautiful pearl carbon fiber instrument panel applique overlays the entire dash. You can see a 12 volt power point there and then the all new seven inch Sony multimedia radio rear view and side video camera monitoring system. This infotainment radio features a color touch screen at seven inches. It features iPod and MP3 inputs. We have included the factory installed upgrade of Sirius XM satellite radio, which includes the tuner and the rooftop antenna. 
What's unique about this new radio is it does now include Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. For a similar seamless experience that you would include in your light duty car or truck directly out to your RV. Full heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controls, and then switches down below for the auxiliary defroster fans, which are a factory installed upgrade on this particular coach. And then also a radio power switch so that if you are at your destination and want to listen to the Sirius XM radio, use the individual security cameras, Bluetooth, or use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto for app usage. You can certainly do that directly off of the RV batteries as opposed to running down your chassis battery. Standard is an in-dash workstation for the passenger, which provides a sturdy surface, but also storage underneath that in-dash workstation, and also includes an innovative 12-volt power point and a USB charge point as well. Not only do we have the powered MCD blackout roller shades, we also include the MCD shade system for the driver and passenger windows. There you can see the security curb view assist window, the map lighting for the passenger, additional cup holders. There are also in cup holders on the doghouse storage area overhead the engine. You can see the attention to detail and the stitching continues with those same seats. You'll also see a 110 volt outlet which is used for the passenger, especially in transit. It's a nice feature to have if you're using your laptop or a tablet for that in-dash workstation that drops into your lap and also now a powered ottoman for the powered passenger seat. This removable pedestal table is stored in that compartment that you saw in the wardrobe closet to the rear. And as we swivel around, we'll cover one last sweeping shot as I wanna take this opportunity to thank you for visiting Litson RV and for the opportunity to showcase for you the latest in interior styling for the Bath and One Half Winnebago Adventurer 35F now built atop the all new Ford F53 chassis with the 7.3 liter V8 known as Godzilla. It is available here at Litson RV, America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago factory based right here in Forest City, Iowa and recently named by the manufacturer Winnebago Industries as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all of the motorized coach divisions of Winnebago Industries based right here in Forest City, Iowa. But reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award, now for the past six consecutive years. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new powertrain in accordance with the way Ford Motor Company outlines in their break-in procedure inside their owner's manual and available online. Breaking in new tires for approximately 300 miles, varying your speeds to break in and seat those cylinders in that 7.3 liter V8 for the first thousand miles. And finally, if possible, no towing for the first thousand miles, as opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealership, be the first to break in that new powertrain, sleep that first night in your walk around queen bed or any of the additional three sleeping surfaces, and eat that first meal in your factory fresh benchmark dinette with high low table in the Winnebago Adventure 35F available here at Litson RV. Thank you for visiting Litson RV here in Forest City, Iowa, the home of Winnebago Industries. I'm Ron Litson and I want to thank you for visiting our dealership here in Forest City, Iowa. Here are some great points from the Litson RV team as to points unrelated to price why you should experience the best here at Litson RV. New motorhomes from Litson RV have no delivery miles on them. We do not use delivery services like other dealers in which drivers live in the RV during transportation or tow their own personal vehicle during the crucial engine break-in period. There are no additional fees with purchasing in the state of Iowa as a customer will pay their tax, title, and license in which the state that they register their RV. However, we do help in assisting titling your RV in your home state. As you can see, we help people day in and day out all over the United States and Canada with titling their motorhome. Due to our close proximity to Winnebago factory, we're able to take advantage of cost savings over other RV dealerships. This allows us to provide you with low, no hassle pricing. We offer free, thorough walk-arounds with our guests at the time of delivery, where we take as much time as needed for our guests to understand every function, maintenance, and warranty item of their RV. Many dealers charge a significant sum to provide this service. 
Here at Litson RV, we provide our guests the opportunity to stay on our lot while enjoying free access to Wi-Fi, filter fresh water, and electrical hookups, whether they're here to take delivery of their new RV or just passing through for service. We work with several different lenders in order to secure you the most competitive rates and terms. We also offer insurance from several different insurance carriers such as Progressive and Nationwide. Purchase and service your RV and experience the best at Litson RV, the nation's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries based right here in Forest City, Iowa.